it is Saturday, um, but I have to go into the hospital because I have to go on one day of the weekend and I chose today. Um, but I, we're starting rounds late. Usually we start rounds around like 6.30 to 7, but today we're starting rounds at potentially like 8.30 to 9. So I was able to sleep in till like 6.30, 6. And so I was like, pretty nice. Um, if I knew I was going to be saying this like a year earlier, I would think I was insane because I used to wake up at 8 thinking it was the earliest time ever. Um, <laughs> but now like, wow, it's, it's already 6. It's like, it's so late. No, but I still hate it. Like my body is, yeah, I'm just, I'm still not a morning person, but I am living in a morning person, a profession and field. So you gotta adapt, adjust. <laughs> The Christmas lights for Christmas in Florida. Just in the conference room, um, preparing the list, and after the list, I'm gonna go pre-round on the pre-round because that's what med students do. And if, for any of you who doesn't know what that means, rounds are just like when the when the team like goes around to see patients, um, like all the patients on the floor. And then to pre-round is to do it before the attending because you do the rounds with the attending, which is like the main physician uh, who's on for the day. And then to pre-pre-round means I am seeing the patients before the residents see the patients, before the attending sees the patients. made some lunch as you may have seen um but it is now crunch time because my shelf is coming up in a week first shelf i've ever taken and my practice exams are not looking so great as in like i am 20 percent below passing um we just had one of our finals or yeah we just had some finals yesterday um just gonna be more testing the upcoming weeks but Many negative emotions, many negative doubts, many just negative thoughts in general, but you know, I'm gonna push myself to study my butt off to the point that I was studying when I was an undergrad at Hopkins because those are the years where I really, really, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but it's crunch time and I am gonna start studying today and I wanna take you guys along with my studying. So I'm gonna do my Anki and then I'm gonna do finish my U World and I'm gonna start my, or I'm gonna continue my True Learn questions and just going off that. Um, I am a True Learn ambassador. But it's another like platform that offers you questions and practice exams for anything. I know a lot of people in the hospital use it specifically for like field, like rotation, like not like specialty specific exams such as anesthesia getting ready for the anesthesia boards or, boards or like stuff like that like i know a lot of people in residency use true learn but more people in med school tend to use your world but honestly they're, they're like the same thing it's like just questions for you to do um, but anyways i do have a discount code if for anyone who's interested in true learn checking it out i'll leave it down below but yeah let's get studying I got these from me from Hawaii and I only have two left. They're so good. I grabbed my snack and my coffee because I'm about to, I just finished 37 questions for the rest of my U World today. I just finished the rest of my questions today and I got a 49%, so I got a lot to review and I should not be getting 49%. Um, I should be getting 60% in order to pass, but it's okay. I am here to learn as much as I can for the next week without freaking out. So, so I just wanted to take you through um, the true learn questions just so you have an idea of what to expect and so you know when you look at a question you always think about like the age and then what gender sometimes that's important and then the chief complaint so if i do abdominal pain diarrhea 
and so she has had an intermittent episode so abdominal pain and bloody diarrhea and so they were bloody which is also important to note because you know it's coming from probably more towards the end of the gi tract um not always but that's what it makes me think of and for three years so chronic not acute no medical history that they know of no sepsis no infection because a febrile and there's tenderness of palpation of right lower quadrant um you know, that always makes me think of like rousing sign and like appendicitis but that's not what this picture is presenting as and then here's a biopsy that i have no idea how to read because i don't want to read biopsies um and obviously you see that i already done this question i got it wrong um i was able to narrow it out to ibd but it was just a matter if it was crohn's or ulcerative colitis and then so after you select the answer um it gives you a really good explanation of why the answer is that i really do like true learn explanations um they like highlight the key words which is always like what i look towards because you know when you see like a sea of words like your eyes just get lost and you don't know what to focus on and so i really like they highlight the key words uh, and they give you a really good explanation of everything and they also have a lot of so like the very beginning is just like the main information you want to know for like the answer but then they also give you you know a lot of other information and testing information which i think is really helpful and useful just because you know i use these questions as review not to learn the content and to review the content um and so i'm basically starting from scratch from these questions it's not like i'm, I'm reading something and then doing questions more it's like i'm doing questions and then reading up on it so i really enjoy having um all these six different explanations and then they go into each answer type i do think um this is way more in depth than new world and so you know depends on what kind of learning you are do you like things that are more in depth or less in depth and so they go over every answer choice because that's also how i learn like i go through each answer choice to see like why i got it wrong and what each thing is because like i have no idea what this like the sign is um like i know i've learned it before but i don't remember what it was anymore and so i think it's really helpful they have explanations of everything and then they also like i love charts and stuff so this is lovely but then they also have um like sketchy type of stuff if you don't have sketchy this is either just like you know like image um memory anchors if you don't want to paper sketchy or another like you know picture um resource also i just realized that they give you like the first aid like page um for the different years that's really helpful because you know first aid is <laughs> the holy grail of med school so yeah i just wanted to take you through one of the questions so you have an idea of whether or not you would like to look into this or not It's like 10 p.m. and I think I'm gonna go head to bed after dinner. I just ran through all my Anki cards and then finished my problem set from earlier to today. I started, so I did a total of like 60-ish questions, which isn't great, but isn't terrible because I was actually reviewing. I started my incorrects and I finished my um, cheesy Dorian Anki, which is the deck that I've been doing. So all in all should be pushing myself harder but i'm so tired i can't think anymore and you know when i get to this point i'm like just go to bed because i'm just not learning and i just don't see the benefit of staying up and wasting time when i can be sleeping so i can learn again tomorrow um don't know if this is better or worse but this is what this is what i do now so good night and thank you guys so much for watching and as always if you have any questions or anything you just want to talk um feel free to reach out to me but otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video night bye